everyone and uh, welcome to today's webinar. I'm Owen and uh, we are happy to invite Yuri from Riddle Tech to join us as a co-host. Okay. Yeah, in next slide, we will give an introduction about ourselves. Today, we are going to talk about touchless technology, 3D face recognition, and how it can help to simplify the process and uh, innovate your business case. A record video and the slides of this webinar will be shared later and uh, we will reserve five to 10 minutes for Q&A after our presentation. During the webinar, we will give five polls and uh, take it as a reference to develop our future product so that uh, this product can better fit your requirement. And welcome to those who just joined. So let's start. A uh, short introduction about myself. I'm Owen and uh, the product solution manager from Aon. I'm mainly responsible for seeking interesting applications and uh, collaborating with our partners to bring solutions to the market. That's how we met and uh, collaborated with uh, Riddle Tech to build uh, this 3D face recognition solution we are going to talk about later. And it's based on UP products. UP is a brand uh, founded by Aon and uh, our goal is to collaborate with the leaders in different vertical markets, then bring the innovation in technology, integrated solution, and uh, build a large online community and ecosystem to work closely with the developers. We are pleased to have Yuri join today's webinar as well. Uh, he is the co-founder of Riddle Tech and uh, his experience in creating innovative products like this solution, uh, face recognition 3D kit. More details will be shared through the webinar. And uh, also for people who watch through the YouTube, we do live stream there. And feel free to also type your question there. Since we got colleagues there, they can uh, help to click, uh, collect the question and pass to this platform so we can answer here as well. Ah, sorry, I forget to change the slide. And uh, for for next one, the global facial recognition market was valued at uh, 4.4 billion in 2019, and it's projected to be valued at uh, 10.9 billion by 2025. Why is facial recognition getting uh, so popular? I summarized reasons as below. Uh, first, unlike other biometric characteristics, such as handprints or fingerprints, facial recognition is non-contact and therefore more hygienic and easy to use. Besides, user only need to present themselves if they are, uh, and if they are image is recognized by the system. SS is granted immediately. No pin to enter or a smart card to present. Combine previous two points, the contactless and the automatic process helps you to save time in front of cashier or entrance since you don't need to spend time uh, finding your wallet or your ID card. Last but not least, because your face is uh, your access credential, it cannot be duplicated or lost or stolen. So it can uh, help to prevent flawed situation. But uh, it's not easy to build a face recognition project. What challenges will you face? Face recognition is extremely sensitive to illumination, expression, or pose angle, etc. It's usually a dilemma to developers for their project to integrate essential components for optimized model, security or uh, scalability while still control the budget in a reasonable level. So I mentioned it's not easy to control results for your project development. I had uh, a chat with a Riddle Tech and found there are three main uh, points that up helps them to develop their project. First, we provide powerful and validated platform. So uh, UP has an in-house trusted platform module, which is very important feature for uh, face recognition. Since data protection is very critical, and especially when you collaborate with bank or finance department, where the data should be protected in high standard. And the UP will leverage the Aton CPU, which has uh, better performance than ARM processors, so that the Riddle Tech can uh, implement more applications to the edge. Besides, up provides a good Linux and a kernel support. So when you have a project, you don't need to uh, develop or validate yourself. And uh, this is uh, additional time as a cost. Second, uh, we provide a clear uh, support infrastructure. 
app has a well-rounded document library to give an easy start for developers. And also we provide a longevity policy that is aligned with uh, Intel. So that you don't need to worry the support uh, will disappear or be gone in the middle of your uh, project. Third, we provide online community. App community creates a positive circle for experience sharing. And uh, developers using our products can share experience and uh, help each other for their projects. So uh, I mentioned this because our goal, uh, app's goal is to help to uh, help the developers to start their project and uh, to bring the innovation to the world. So we would like to uh, know what could we do to help you more. So here I will release two posts to better understand your demand. Please help to take some time to finish it. Yeah, uh, wait a minute. So the poll is related to like, uh, since we up as a hardware platform. So we would like to know more about developers' demands while they develop their uh, application or what operating system or what language they use to do it. Then we can take it as a consideration in the future while developing our products. Then to give a better platform for you to start, better and easier platform, yeah. So now I see uh, Windows, uh, Windows and Ubuntu for operating system uh, more uh, attendees would like to develop based on that operating system. And uh, regarding to development language, it will be more preferable for Python. Yeah. So I will wait for 10 more seconds, then we'll move to next slide. All right. So you already heard lots of good points about app. So let's take a look at the app product line. As you can see here, uh, we provide the products with different form factors. And uh, we also consider a different expansion interface to fulfill uh, different project requirements, such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LTE for connectivity or uh, AI inferencing. For this one, we also have a, a product line regarding to AI accelerator to give you an option to upgrade your solution. And uh, I mentioned earlier, we provide clear longevity policy aligned with Intel for our products. We launch our early generation products, Upboard and Upcore. And uh, you can see here, this is aligned with the Intel uh, CPU. So it's supported until 2024. And the next generation is our AppSquare and uh, AppCore, and they are supported until uh, 2030. For our latest generation, AppExtreme, it's built based on uh, Intel 8th generation Core iCPU. It will be supported until 2034. So no worry that your hardware foundation or uh, our support in this solution will disappear in the middle of your development. So you can have a clear plan and a blueprint in your idea. I have talked about expandability. Uh, we consider this while developing our products. If there is a project that needs further inferencing power, uh, we have this uh, accelerator roadmap for you to as an option. Some of you may be familiar with our existing modules based on uh, Intel Mirror X VPU. We provide expandable modules with different quantities of uh, VPU inside. We have mini PSIE for one mu X, and that two 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 eight zero for two, and the Vision Plus X for three, and the even uh, PCIe by four for four and eight. Then uh, more interesting part would be the uh, latest uh, VPU from Intel. It's called Kimbay. So for Kimbay, the performance is uh, 
according to conversion uh, result, it's seven times or even 10 times better than the previous version Mira X. And uh, it's a dip, the performance difference depends on the different skill. So for Kimbe, there will be two different skill. And uh, we designed 22A0 card and the PCIe card for Kimbe. Then this module will be ready at around uh, end of this year. So next one, let's move to a uh, solution diagram of real tech fast recognition predicate to give you a whole picture before we dive deeper. Uh, the solution can be separated into two parts. First is the edge, then the second part is the cloud. The edge part will include upboard and uh, also the real tech fast analysis application. And uh, the cloud is uh, responsible for doing fast matching. How does it work? Within face recognition flow, the 3D camera will capture the video stream from uh, face and the pass to upboard. Then there are three steps within upboard. First, uh, the upboard will do face detection to check if the object in front of the camera is face or not. If it's face, it, it, then it go to uh, second step, face analysis. In this step, the Apple will do analysis and uh, to check the illumination, the angle, the pose of the uh, face to get an optimized image. Then it will uh, prepare and uh, encrypt the image, then send the image to the cloud. Then within the cloud, this cloud will do the uh, face matching and return the matching result to upboard. So this is in general a whole picture of how uh, up and uh, the cloud working together within the facial recognition process. So now I will pass the ball to Yuri and uh, he will take you to details of the solution and uh, the application story in different uh, industry and a successful story. Yeah, so Yuri, the stage is yours. Uh, thank you Owen for introducing me. Uh, for introducing me and uh, uh, I will focus on the whole platform to to explain some details how our customer or how your customer or how our yeah. attendees can build the same solution and, and how can how can they use uh, the whole model of the platform what we have built uh, consists from two from two parts as uh, uh, Owen mentioned it includes 3d kit uh, based on 3d camera from Intel real sense and uh, Facecar Cloud. This is a platform which hosted an AWS and do a lot of things uh, for facial recognition process, even for hosting data, for data management, data processing, and uh, and is the main part for our whole system, like IoT concept. I want please change the slide. Uh, so the platform includes Facecar Cloud. Uh, which has API into uh, into uh, API interface and IT infrastructure, as I mentioned, hosted uh, on AWS. And the main uh, function for this uh, for this part is to operate with data uh, to connect with uh, such device like uh, 3D kits uh, to build integration with uh, customers or merchants application store customer ID and provide face matching using Amazon recognition service. Uh, this next slide. So I'll go deeply about the 3D kit. The 3D kit, this is the, uh, the hurry model, which includes Intel RealSense. Uh, this is a special camera and I show you uh, from Intel, which give us uh, more data to understand that you are a live object there, uh, that there is a no static image or no video in front of the camera. And the second piece is the uh, upboard. Up this is the uh, enterprise certified single board computer, which includes a TPM model, which is help us to protect the software and protect the data inside. We encrypt all the data uh, and uh, using in our process. And this, uh, and we're running also the software here uh, on the board. And this kit you can install and a few uh, few already existed infrastructures for your customers. Uh, I mean the ATM, I mean the financial kiosk, and turnstiles or EQ, or another third-party device. Uh, okay, next slide, please. So how to implement how to implement this model? Uh, 
for your customers. Uh, you build two type of integration. The, fun, uh, for, the first of them is to build uh, customers enrollment interface. You need to register first to customers or, or, or user into the database, then they can be uh, recognized. The second, build a local integration with the, this module, which has a local API. And uh, the third type of integration to build with backend algorithms or using our platform, Facecard Cloud, or using your own algorithm or using third party vendors' algorithms. Yeah, how to, uh, how to register customer in your system? So the face, uh, the face, uh, uh, the face the customer provides to your smartphone. This is the better, this is just an example. You can add it in a different way, but the most uh, common used method is to register customer through the mobile apps and then using different custom uh, uh, mobile application. Customer look to the camera, uh, or get an image sent to the database uh, to customers backend, then customer sending this image to the face card cloud or the third party vendors uh, for facial recognition technology. There and there we transfer this image using Amazon recognition into the face ID. This is the unique identificator. And then we store just customer ID. That's the, that's the whole process for registration flow. Uh, the one front image for registration, you need to build customer enrollment interface and get consent to meet GDPR requirements. Uh, so the second case, how, uh, how it works when we have a case with a recognition flow. Uh, the, the face of the human look to the camera, the software and the camera capture the face, prepare the best image for facial recognition and send and send to uh, to different scenarios. The first scenario is that you will get the, uh, the image, which is which is required to, to different algorithms. And the second way, and, and you can use a uh, party vendors to recognize to recognize the customer with your algorithms or, or with different algorithms. And the second case that you send to the, this image to our infrastructure, to the Facecard cloud, and we provide all this process inside on the cloud. Okay, okay. So there is a topic about uh, data transfer flow, uh, how we store the data. In, in our case, we uh, do not store any images, we just, uh, get an image and send it to Amazon recognition service and get in the face ID. Then we store uh, the customer ID and operate only with this, with this customer ID in the future. Uh, what kind of solution might be created in for, for, for which industries? For retail, for retail, uh, this is uh, the loyalty loyalty programs identification. Uh, even for self service, uh, it might be installed for PSD requirements to to identify biometrics in uh, in every financial transaction. For finance industry, it it can work as an identification uh, system or 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 register your customer in EQ. Or verify your customer on EQ for online services. It also works for verification and uh, biometric authentication. Let's imagine you create an account on eBay and you edit, uh, register your customer using their biometrics. Uh, and for transportation, uh, it works pretty well for control access management uh, and for biometric payments. Okay, uh, Yuri, we wait here for a second since uh, after your explanation for these slides, I believe uh, uh, attendees already get, already get an idea regarding to uh, what industry or what use cases of uh, face application can be applied. So here we would like to release two more uh, posts to understand more regarding to marketing requirements and to ensure that uh, our solution fits and what maybe they, we, we could know. Uh, what uh, what points we could uh, do to improve uh, more? Yeah, uh, we we will help with any case. Yeah. So.
So basically, the first uh, poll is regarding to the uh, face, facial recognition application. And uh, the second one is the marketing segment that you want to apply. Yeah. Retails and uh, manufacturing still account for large percentage for the facial recognition use case. And uh, access control is the most for application wise, yeah. Okay, we give uh, maybe 10 more seconds, then we move on to the next slide. Right. So you're, yeah, please go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, so we have a, a few success stories. I want to share with you a success story with Belize Metro, uh, where we uh, launched the pilot project together with Visa, and now the first country in the world where by biometrics uh, payment working for uh, for Metro. So using our 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 three D kit, we built a unique biometric device. I'm just showing you how it looks. <laughs> metric device and special built for Belize and uh, there is also the 3D camera Intel, the microcomputer with the here inside. And that's a, this is just an example how to use 3D kit to build your own product or, 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 or upgrade the existing product. Uh, so how it works, uh, this is by metric device recognize uh, only registered customers and we also build integration with with bank, uh, mobile banking app where users uh, have an option to enroll their face and uh, choose the banking card. Uh, and uh, also we build uh, integration between turnstile. The second uh, success story, the second success story also happened with uh, Bank of Georgia and this is the first biometric ATM on the, on the Georgia. And now it's available for, uh, for testing for, for 8,000 employees uh, on the bank, bank of Georgia. And, uh, and the backend uh, working in the, with, our, with our face card cloud service for, for customers uh, authentication. So and the option works in, the, in this way. That, uh, you can get a cash without any cards, just using two factors authentication. Just use the face and use the pin card. Mm -hmm. this, is, uh, uh, this is just an, an, uh, an, an the testing and after COVID, uh, we expect to, to grow with, uh, with Bank of Georgia and scale the project for whole metro. And, and there also may, can be your story. So create whatever. <laughs> yeah, true. So yeah, thanks for Yuri's uh, explanation regarding to the, how does it work in details and uh, the market segment application wise, how could we leverage this? And also the story, like uh, you build, you collaborate with the customer and the leverage your solution to help that. And uh, one thing to add is uh, we, we also add the YouTube link. So maybe uh, the slides will also be shared later. So if you are interested, you can just uh, click the link for uh, two story like uh, the Tbilisi Metro or the biometric ATN. So after this one, uh, just uh, wonder to, I would like to see how many uh, attendees already start your face, recon face recognition project. So yeah, please help to take some time to finish. Just want to have a rough idea regarding to how many people already uh, have an ongoing project and uh, what could we help maybe, yeah. 
And Yuri is here. He's an expert. So yeah, always waiting so, for help. Right? That's awesome. <laughs> All right, since now uh, for the attendees who already have their related project ongoing, uh, maybe 32%. Uh, oh, well, I, uh, I'm just chatting uh, with, uh, with our attendees. So mm -hmm. I'd be interested for, for others. Okay. Okay, so basically that's the, our part for presentation. So now we go to uh, Q&A. If you have any question, please uh, feel free to type within the Q&A box and we'll pick up then answer it. Uh, so I see the question, why do I need an Intel RealSense camera? Yeah. As I mentioned, this is a not just a simple camera. This is a special camera which has a few cameras inside and a, and a sensor which give us uh, the data that we can understand that you are 3D object. We have a deep, this is a, like deep camera and this uh, we use this camera for two purposes to check your liner check and to uh, check liner check and uh, and to and to reduce the fraud risk so with a, with a simple camera, uh, you have a chance to get the, the high risk with fraud. So that's the reason why we use this special Intel RealSense camera. Mm. And uh, mm. there's one more question. Does 3D kit fit for Xbox 3D camera? I think it's the camera from Xbox Live, the live player. Unfortunately, I'm not familiar with the uh, Xbox. I'm mm -hmm. not gamer uh, but we will learn we will learn and uh, and send this uh, response personally okay so maybe uh, we need more research later and uh, we return to Nicola 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 yeah uh, the next question what uh, with what infra infrastructure Argo 3D kit is compatible uh, since uh, now this uh, kit is compatible with few industrial infrastructures. As I mentioned, this is uh, turnstiles, ATMs, POS systems, and self services. Uh, how to add users uh, into the system? Uh, you need to build. You need to build your uh, customer enrollment interface. Might be. Realize it using uh, mobile apps or or web applications, but it's but but for best user or better user experience, it's needed. It depends from the system which which one you build. Uh, there's one more new question. I think uh, Yuri already got an answer. Can you use uh, edge processing for recognition without cloud service? Uh, we can. Sure, we can, but it depends uh, from from the project. If if you can uh, operate with uh, with database for million of customers, it's not possible to use locally on the edge. So that's why we use the concept IoT. We do this processing in the cloud and locally we do just pre-processing. We, we prepare the image, the face for, for, for next recognition, for, for further recognition with different algorithms. The current stage we're using Amazon recognition service. All right, there's a new question. Is Amazon the only existing supported backend doing facial recognition? Right. Doing face matching, yeah. Right. Amazon just doing the matching, but also our infrastructure hosted on AWS for security purposes for, for better performance. Training for lip reading. 
The next one is the, can this system be trained for lip reading applications? Like when someone talking and uh, you didn't have a voice, but you will understand what he is talking. Uh, no, no, this, uh, this kind of software just, just uh, uh, designed just, just for facial recognition. So it's di different purpose, right? Yeah, this is a different purpose. Okay. Uh, for what must be client? Uh, next, next question from uh, Nikolai Zuyo. What is your commercial model? Uh, for what must pay client for upboard for camera license? Uh, the offer includes a one-time payment for license for permanent license in the, and for hardware. And you pay one time and get uh, the software, the edge, and and at the end you just get an image, and and uh, can build your own system using the Amazon recognition or using uh, Microsoft services for the, or open source algorithms, or even use uh, our pre-installed free plan, uh, which is compatible with our face card cloud recognition service for for mm -hmm. for fast start. Yeah, late. Uh, later after Q and section, we will have a special offer, and uh, it would uh, explain the details for what we offer and how much is it. As for the part you just mentioned regarding to the uh, face recognition service, that's the uh, different parts, and the Yuri will provide the more details afterwards. Right. Good questions. Uh, Okay, so we wait for 10 more seconds, if no further question. Okay, so thank you all for your attention. He, now is the exciting news. We have a good news for uh, you guys. Uh, since we provide a special offer uh, in a certain period, so you can uh, either type the link or scan the QR code to order this uh, Radiotech face recognition 3D kit from our app shop. And uh, there will be 20% off using the voucher code. And uh, the voucher code is uh, up and uh, Radiotech. So original price is 599 US dollars. Now you can get it for 479. And uh, the voucher will be effective for seven days. So if you are interested, uh, don't hesitate to check it out. As a kit, this will include the uh, radio tech face recognition 3D kit, the upboard, the real sense camera, and uh, there is a USB on the gold cable to transfer uh, from the USB 2.0 to 3.0 so that you can connect with the real sense camera and also the power adapter. And also, uh, this kit will include the uh, as I mentioned before, the face application analysis software in Upboard and also the face card cloud free plan. So, which means you get it and you can directly start your uh, face uh, recognition project development uh, with the face card. And uh, if you uh, would like to have different options, like to um, integrate your solution with the different uh, third-party cloud service, then you can do so. But uh, the pricing plan will be different. And uh, regarding to uh, Facebook Cloud free plan, after the uh, free plan, if you want to have an upgrade version, I think uh, Yuri can uh, share more here, or you want to like uh, to provide the link to customer to let them un understand it. Yeah, Yuri. I just want to add that we, we provide health solution like ready ready to use a platform which includes, as I mentioned, the uh, face card cloud service for for recognition, and uh, and three D kit as a as a hardware model. Uh, as you want, you can use our service and uh, this model based like on the subscription. We provide number of requests and we provide the number of uh, licenses which we can support in every plan. Uh, for permanent license, it's available. Uh, this offer available only, especially for um, up, up shop 
where you pay the one-time uh, fee for permanent license and uh, get unlimited uh, license and get an image uh, right of the box within this kit and, and can build your own solution with your own infrastructure, with your own algorithms. Okay, so yeah, thanks everyone. And uh, if you're interested, just check it out from the link and uh, yeah, type the voucher code and get a discount. Thank you. Okay, thanks Yuri. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye.